Well, of dual endoscopy is that it gives you multiple layers of protection. So you're using your video laryngoscope or even a normal laryngoscope and you're using your, your intubating scope, either Bonfils, video stylate, etc. If you do your laryngoscopy and you're able to achieve a, a reasonable view, now your optical or video stylet becomes just an introducer to put the tube in. There goes the tube in, I can either have my assistant railroad it off or I can advance the tube and I've got confirmation that the tube is placed. Right? That is presuming now I've gone into my difficult airway and I actually was able to obtain a video laryngoscopic view. But if I go into my difficult airway and let's say I get a grade 3 or a grade 4 view, now I can use the fact that I'm lifting the tongue and the base of the jaw, making myself space, and the fact that I can see the tube approaching to get into the ballpark, and then I use the endoscope to make the final approach, put the tip through the vocal cords. Again, I've got confirmation of tube placement. You can see there's no subglottic problem. I know that my tube advancement, that might be my failed intubation, was not a subglottic stenosis. Again, I can railroad the tube. I can even confirm the, the depth of the tube placement by lining up my mark with the vocal cords that I can usually see through the tube. So now I facilitated the intubation again. So 